hit the like button you mugs yo 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 it's Ozzy kid here today i got a gamrot showcase i was doing some nice pressure boxing with gamrot gamrot got a nice decision win recently and you know some people are gonna say Ozzy mate what the fuck are you talking about but i think gamrot actually like in this game Gamrot kind of reminds me a bit of Nate Diaz, obviously. His punch speed is way worse, but I mean like his kind of reminds me of Nate Diaz because his jab and his cross is really good and he's got really high and he's got really good cardio as well. So it's kind of similar, but obviously Nate Diaz is the GOAT. No one no one's there will never be another like Nate Diaz break. Right? No no one can compare. Well, I was doing some nice pressure boxing in this fight and I was also utilizing the rear body kick a lot. So this is a nice showcase for the lads. I catch him right there with the dirty uppercut while he was going to the body. I caught him there clean. And hit him with a nice elbow. He goes cross hook body straight. See that see that combo there? Always always lock that into your memory straight away so then if they throw the cross hook then you can block the body straight and bang them in the head with an uppercut catch him with a nice jab uppercut there and i like the way i like the way cloud was was playing in this match it was nice and clean no block breaking um just clean striking so i right i rated the i rated the way that cloud was playing in this fight Nice little one two to the body. He goes down low. I catch him with a lead uppercut. He throws a teep with that teep. I hit him with a dirty cross. And like I said already, the cross that cross is a level four. So I reckon that cross is actually uh, very pow quite powerful, you know. And and I also was ca I was catching him a lot with that move where I'll move. He'll throw a teep. I'll move out of range and hit him with a cross. I catch him with a nice body uppercut for the rock. So yeah, I make him with the teep and then bang him in the head with a cross. And I reckon that was probably doing good damage. I catch him there nicely with a cross and I go down twice at the body and then I hit him with a cross body kick. Nice perfect range. I'm gonna be landing that body kick a lot, you guys are gonna see, especially towards especially in like the um toward towards the end of the fight, you're gonna see me landing that body kick a lot. Hit him with a jab there. And I catch him with a nice cross there for the rock. And McGregor does that fucking super fast lead hook and I and uh, there again you see that lads I move out of range of the teep and I hit him with a nice cross and I dropped him there but yeah man you see McGregor McGregor's got that lead hook he throws that jab lead hook and the lead hook is like super fast that combo used to fucking that combo used to really like give me trouble but what I did I, I called up I hit up hit up my guy blaze I was training with blaze I did about blah, blah, the 200 fights, Nate Diaz versus McGregor. Now, I'm way more comfortable fighting McGregor. I remember before, McGregor's used to be intimidating to me. You know, I'm trying, they're still they're still intimidating because they're just, they're very over very overpowered. But back in the days, them them man used to be too scary. Catch him with a nice body hook, and I go on a duck underneath his hook while I'm hitting him to the body. Sometimes that just happens automatically when you throw when you throw a, a rear body hook, you go just duck underneath hooks by by accident, bruv. That that shit's not planned. Then I catch him with a nice little body kick again. This is nice. Works works to the ribs. And another dirty body kick. He tries to go for the clinch. I say, yeah right, I bang him with a cross uppercut. And another dirty body kick, mate. Always get landing it all day, all day. He goes for the jab cross lead hook. Look at that beautiful, beautiful body kick again. It's too mad. And then there he goes down twice to the body. He throws a knee, but that was probably uh, that was probably an accident. He probably meant to throw a teep and another nice body kick. I see he's leaning away from it, so that one got some nice vulnerability damage. I try to throw another body kick, but he ducks, so uh, he he absorbs it. He goes down for another body jab. I got one two to the body. Nice cross for the rock. Try to go high, low, high. Try and mix him up there. Body uppercut, lead hook for the rock. One, two. A nice drop right there. And then now I'm trying to elbow him. Catch him with a nice elbow for the rock. I try to go one, two, body hook. I'm out of range. I throw cross, lead body kick. 
and I knew that one was gonna be the rhythm of that one was gonna be was gonna be a bit off-putting. But Gam Gamrot's lead body kick is too shit, and I knew another nice little cross body kick right there. He throws another knee, which I go down low with a body hook, but that body hook is telegraphed. Every time I try, every time I try to throw that uh, body hook forward moving body hook, it always blocked it. So that was good good reflexes uh, from Cloud, and another nice body kick right there, one two for the drop. Right, and then I get him in top mount. I was expecting him to bobble head here, so that's why I only threw hooks here. See, he's, he's, he's doing a little bit of bobble heading. Now, nah, then I just get back up to the feet because I'm not trying to fight on the ground. And you're going to see that uh, Cloud is going to try to take me, trying to try to get me to the ground a bit, but I was able to deny it every single time. And I can see he's sidestepping, he's sidestepping. So I'm going to try, whenever I see someone sidestepping, I try to kick them to the body. Uh, I try to throw hooks to the side that they're sidestepping. So that's the adjustment you gotta make when they're sidestepping like that. Goes to the body, I throw an uppercut and he slips it. So now I've gotta make sure next time he hits me to the body, you gotta throw a hook, you know what I'm say? And a nice double jab right there for the drop. Now I've got to pop another jab out there. And look he's sidestepping again. When see that when they sidestep like that. They get rid of all the straight strikes that you can throw. You can't throw a jab. You can't throw a cross. You can't throw a teep. So it only it just uh, you're only left with round strikes. So that's why. And another nice little jab body kick right there. Like I said, lads, I'm landing this body kick all day, all day. A nice uh, lead body uppercut. And another nice body straight. And I can see he's still sidestepping. I'm gonna try catching with some body kicks, some hooks, some body hooks. Obviously, you gotta be careful, though. Gotta be careful. Might might throw a body hook, get one uppercut to the jaw, and that's it. And there you go. He gets gets me in the clinch. Tries to go for the hip toss. This is what I meant. That's what I meant when I when I was saying he's he tries to take me down to the ground. Another nice body kick right there. Cross body kick. I try to go for the lead hook. Like I said, see, whenever I try to throw the forward moving lead body hook, always blocks it. And nice two body shots there for the for the drop. Now I know if I just knee him once, his body health is finished. So if I just knee him once, that's a rock. One two body hook, and that's it. And then I say GG in it.